In this video, we make the Traxxas UDR8S oh my God. and have a lipo fire. All right, guys, want to make some extra cash so you can buy more toys, quit your job, go on more holidays, or maybe build a monster truck. I've got you covered. Check out my course in the description and I'll show you how to make 100k profit a year. Hi guys, how are you doing? In this video, I want to take off the Traxxas connectors on my UDR and replace them for these XT90s. Trouble is, they kind of, I don't know if they're moulded in there or if they're screwed on there, but they're kind of part of this battery tray thing here. So we're going to have to rip the thing apart and see how we can change them out. Instead of that on there, I want that there. And I tried it with an adapter lead, but the trouble is there's not that much room in here for cables and it was such a tight squeeze. So these are gonna have to go on there somehow. And by the looks of it, it's all buried right down in here somewhere. So I'm gonna have to take this body shell off. All right, so here we go. First time getting this shell off. Well, I'm not gonna bore you with a whole lot, but there's a couple on the other side here, even though this is already pulled out. Then we got a couple at the top here. One at the back here. Right, I've not done this before guys, so you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit. Ah, I did see someone on someone else's video. You gotta kind of do this on the on the wonk somehow. Alright, well, well that wasn't actually hard. That was a lot easier than I thought. It literally about one minute work to get that off of a power tool. So this is my first look under here. So we've got the receiver box here, and that's quite handy because I want to rebind it to a different remote control. I'll use this one here for every single one of my RCs, except for this one, which I use on the TRX4 because it's got the extra channel knob up on the top here. So I definitely want to bind it to this transmitter so I don't have to put on another phone mount. And also, what Medic does, he, he marks all of his transmitters to say which car it's for. And that's a good idea if you've got lots of different brands. But for me, everything I use is Traxxas. And the ones that aren't Traxxas, I'll just put in a, a Traxxas receiver. So by the looks of it, I've got to get this driver compartment thingy majig out. And I think I've got to get these fans out because it looks like the screws behind there. Come on, dude. Don't you come. There we go. There we go. Now we can see what we're doing. That wasn't actually too bad. All right, so we've got this contraption thing here. Looks like there's a couple of screws holding it all on. So let's whip them out and see what happens. Aha! That is actually pretty handy. That comes off. All right, that's good. This could be easier than what I first thought. Now, what I want to do is put these in there. Uh... Not sure if that would, maybe, maybe. Right, I'm just gonna turn the cap off guys. It's hard for me to get in there. I'll have a little fiddle with it. And when I figured it out, I'm gonna put you back on. <laughs> guys, I've just had a brainwave. Right, I've got all this off and I'm looking at these and I've got this Max 6 just kicking around. And it's the same ESC I've got my X-Max and it can do AS and these plugs here are going to fit straight on. So while that's all off, why not just put it in there and see what it can do on AS? It might be the world's first UDR AS, guys. So why not? I've got the opportunity. Why the hell not? And this ESC, I was going to try it out first. Give it a shot and see if it was going to catch fire like the old X-Max ones did. But, nah, I might as well keep it a spare for the E-Revo. Or any other RC that I want to make success, I might keep it for that. Alright, so we've got to get into that receiver box to get that cable out. Bye bye, Traxxas ESC. Hello, Hobby Wing Max 6. I mean, uh, if I put an ESC in that way around, this would reach. But I've got to put it in that way around because of these motor wires. And oh, it's a tight squeeze, but oh. Put that in there. All right, it's tight guys, but it works. 
I mean, you might be able to cut the chassis out to make give a little bit more slack to the cables, but that's going to make it. Uh, I don't know. If it's, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think I'll just go like that for now. I mean, that will just reach. All right, so I've just made a little template here. Because it's got holes in the bottom here. So if I put that on there, I can drill through this plate and then screw the ESC on from the bottom. Which is going to be pretty handy because it's better than just relying on tape to hold it in. I think I'd still put a bit of tape across here. It cannot, it can't harm. It's gonna be better than it just sitting plastic on plastic. Another result, guys, is that the battery connector fits up inside that chassis hole where the connector goes perfectly almost. And then the ESC connector sits lovely like that on top. So I think all I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna bother. Where's it gone? I'm not going to bother putting this thing back on. You probably could, but I'm probably, you probably have to go in there and start grinding this out. And I reckon RPM or someone is going to make this with an XT60 or an XT90 connector already built onto this to sort of fit. So I'm just going to stick a load of hot glue around there. And I think that's going to be good enough, actually, guys. And if you look underneath, yes. We're really gonna cake this glue on here, guys. It's not the most professional looking of jobs, but I don't want these things falling out. All right, so I've got it all mounted up in there now. Doesn't look too bad, and I'm almost ready to chuck the batteries in and give it a blast. All right, so I've got these two Hobby King batteries here. These are 4S, and they're quite a small, small little battery. Ideally, I want to find some that are the same size as 3S packs. So if anybody knows some 4S LiPos that are gonna perfectly fit in there, Give me a link in the comments, guys. That would be really, really handy. And one of these batteries is actually dead, so we're not going to be able to do a proper test. Because if we look on here, one cell is completely and utterly dead look. 0.3 volts. All the other cells, yeah, they've overcharged, actually. But uh, we'll get it in there, and we'll see if something happens. Ho <laughs> ho! Look at those lovely connectors in there now, guys. Much better. Last time we had all these adapters in there and it was so difficult to get anything in there because it's like adapter plugs and this thing wouldn't go on there properly. But now, oh, check it guys. Perfect. Absolutely and utterly perfect. Oh, here we go guys. 4S baby. <laughs> back on and we'll get it out into the workshop and give it a quick blast. So all I've got to do now is get this body back on and then we'll give it a quick whirl. Alright here we go guys, 8S baby! Oh hold on, I'll turn it on first. Yes, baby! Oh, oh my god! looks puffed. Jesus, let's get that out of there before it catches fire. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
That's swelled up, guys. That's about to pop. I don't like that. Even this one's quite warm. This is a good one. The motor's cold. There's no heat in the motor, but oh, guys, that stinks. I can smell that. That stinks. Oh God, that's getting warm. Maybe we better put him outside. I think he's gonna have to go outside, guys. I don't want another lipo fire in the workshop. Oh, it's getting hotter. It's getting hotter. What's the bucket of water gonna do to it? Yeah, not much. <laughs> Hmm, I want to pop it so it's gone safe, but I don't want to pop it with, I don't want to get near it to be honest. Hopefully this will do it guys. There we go. Hmm. Lipo die. Why won't the lipo die? See, when you want it to die, it won't die. Hammer. Someone said, how do I get rid of lipos like this? Here we go, guys. Don't you think I'll focus? Oh, God. Ah, close that door. Don't want it all coming in. Still got one cell in it that's not done yet. There she goes. One safe lipo. So there you have it guys, that is why I don't keep lipos in my workshop or at home. I always keep them away from anything flammable. Well, I keep them in the boot of my car, so it's probably not the safest of places, but I'd rather my car burnt down than my house or my workshop. All right guys, so let me know in the comments, am I the first person to do AS Traxxas UDR? I don't know, if I'm not the first, I'm definitely one of the first. And hopefully ASD's gonna be about tomorrow. I can borrow one of his 4S's, chuck it in there, and let's see how fast this thing can go. I reckon it's gonna fly. But these tires were like, ballooned out, guys. So it's gonna go. And at a guess, we can actually work out we can actually work out how far how fast this thing is going to go because if it does six if at six s it does 50 mile an hour we've got to work out how many mile per hour it will do per s so you get 50 mile per hour and you divide that by six so that means we get 8.3 mile an hour per s so then we times that by eight in theory we should be getting 66 miles per hour but Bear in mind guys, these tyres are ballooning out. That's going to make it go even faster. So I reckon, genuinely, 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 I reckon this thing is going to hit over 70 mile an hour on AS, on the stock gearing. So guys, stay posted. If AS Steve's about tomorrow, if he's got his little speed tester thingy with jig, we're going to chuck that in there. We'll give it a couple of speed runs and we'll see what, ba what this baby can do. All right guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share this video with all your buddies. Hit the notification button so you stay notified of any new videos. Because remember guys, I sit at my PC for roughly 30 minutes after I upload a video. So if you want me to answer any of your questions, the best time is to get your questions straight out there. So smash that bell button guys, stay notified. Alright guys, see you soon.